Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, Topaz Gigapixel AI Comparison Tests. Who doesn't like comparison tests between the compressed model that's brand new in Gigapixel and the standard model? I'm anxious to show this new compressed model to you. I had a little bit of confusion about it but we're going to clear that up today. And also, Gigapixel's on sale right now. All that information is in the uh, description below and how you can save an additional uh, 15% by using my promo code, David Kelly. Now, I have three images for you today. I have this particular image right here. I have this image and this image right here. Now, they're very small images. The first image is a 640 by 960 pixel image. The second image is a 640 by 427 pixel image. And the last image of these uh, parrots is a 640 by 735. Now, when I did my last uh, video, which was the first look of the new Gigapixel update, I was a little confused about the uh, compressed model. Okay, so and some, some viewers commented about it, what it was, and I want to thank them for doing that. And I did a little research myself. But anyway, let me read you what... Uh, Topaz say about this compressed mode or compressed model for images that have a lot of noise best for family photos images downloaded from the internet which these are and photos taken on old cameras now I'm going to provide these images for you and also my test results today I'm going to uh, run these images into um Gigapixel AI and upsize them six times. I'm going to run them in the standard mode and then I'm going to run them in the uh, compressed model. Okay. And that way you'll be able to download these images and actually see for yourself what the results really give you. Because it's best that you have these images, I think, rather than me showing them to you on my computer screen here. You can download the images and do the pixel peeping yourself. And I think this will really help you out, especially if you want to see if this is the right software for you. So, hey, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, we're now in uh, side of uh, Gigapixel AI. This is version 5.2.1, the latest version. Okay, now here's my first image. Now, just to set this up for you, I have this set at six times up conversion. Uh, no cropping or anything. Uh, face refinement on this image is turned on. Now, face refinement, if I hover over this little question mark, it tells us enable automatic face refinement to utilize additional AI processing that produces a more enhanced enlargement of faces in your photos. Okay, so it says that, so I have the face refinement turned on. I'll turn it off. Just watch the face here. See if you can see a difference here. It'll generate the preview. Okay, so that's what it looks like with it off. Now I'm going to turn it on. Let me know if you see any difference there. I can't really see much difference, but I turned it on. Now I'm in the standard uh, mo model here standard and we have the three models standard architectural and the new compressed uh, model okay so here's standard now let me click it on to compress now i'm zoomed into a hundred percent let me go to compress see if you can see a difference i can definitely see a difference it seems a lot sharper if you look at her hair okay and again you're going to be able to download these results and see for yourself what kind of a job it does for all of my tests today i'm leaving uh, gigapixel in the auto position so suppress noise and remove blur will be determined uh by topaz gigapixel ai so i want that to be standard for all of the different tests now that was our first image let's move on to the next image of this mountain right now we are in the standard mode so take a close look at the image on the right which is the uh, upsize preview. And uh, now I'm going to move it over to compress and I'll take a look and see if you see a difference. Now already myself, I can see these trees look a lot more natural and the mountain looks a lot better. So I'm seeing a difference. Again, here's the standard. Okay, so look at the trees and the mountain. And here's the compressed. So there you go. But again, you'll be able to pixel peep if you download uh, these images and see for yourself. And the last image will be the uh, parrots. There's two parrots here. Let me uh, move into this one parrot right here. Okay, so let's go. Let me go standard first. So here's standard and here is the compressed. You can definitely see a lot more details in here on the compressed. Again, here's the standard and here's the compressed. 
All right, so you're gonna get to see both of these if you download them and you'll be able to pixel peep. All right, now let's take a look at the bottom of the interface. Notice that the noise and the blur are set to auto for all three of my images. Uh, on the first image, I have face recognition turned on, but not for the others. Before I move on and show you how to save out these images, I wanted to address an issue uh, that one of my viewers informed me of in the uh, comments of my last Gigapixel video. They tried to use uh, Gigapixel AI in Photoshop and it worked fine for them. They wanted to crop the image though with a new crop tool using uh, Gigapixel as a plugin in Photoshop and the uh, crop tool was like grayed out. You couldn't use it. So I just want to inform you, if you're using Gigapixel as a standalone app, the crop tool works perfectly. But if you're using Gigapixel as a plugin inside of uh, Photoshop, the crop tool does not work. Only as a standalone app will it work. Now that we're clear on the crop tool, let me show you how to save out your images. Once you've made all your adjustments inside of Gigapixel, Come down to the bottom right hand corner of the interface. See where it says save three images. All right, make sure you have all your adjustments. Click on this. And when you do the uh, batch processing dialog box comes up. Now you have choices here, image format. I'm just gonna use uh, preserve source format. If you click it, you get different choices. You know, TIFFs, JPEGs, PNGs, whatever. You can uh, add a file name to the file uh, as a prefix or a suffix. And I just usually put gigapixel as a prefix or a suffix either one, but this time I'm using a prefix. I usually use suffix, but whatever you like. You can add the scaling mode to the file name by clicking on this uh, little toggle switch right here. And then uh, save directory, you could save it to the source directory or to a custom directory. I'm saving mine to a custom directory. And you, you uh, point uh, Gigapixel to that directory by clicking on change and telling it where you want the images to be saved to. And then you have your color profile. You can save it with the uh, source profile, which is what I'm doing on these images. Or if you click it, you can change it to like ProPhoto, sRGB, Adobe RGB, whatever you need, okay? And then when you're ready, let's just click start. Now, I'm going to leave this in real time so you can actually see. I've, al I've already done this. I'm just going to do it again. But check this out. I'm going to click on start. And you're going to see how fast this processes these, these images. Here goes the first image. It upsizes to a 3840 by 5760. It took eight seconds. Here's the next image, upsizes to a 3840 by 2562, four seconds. And here's my last image. It upsizes to 3840 by 4410, six seconds. So as you can see, it's really quick. Now these were small images, as I said, as I said earlier, to begin with, but the processing was fast and I am noticing speed improvements. Hey, leave me comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd like to hear your experiences on this, um, but I'm really happy with this new update. I, I love the crop tool and I love the, this new compressed model. I think it's going to be really cool. Well, there you go. Now, here's our upsized results. Here's the first image. Here is the second image. And here is the third image. Now, remember, I've provided the link to my Google Drive in the description below. So you can go ahead and download the images. It'll have the original images. It'll have the six times upsized images. It'll have the compressed upsized images as well as the standard upsized images so you can go ahead and do some pixel peeping and see what kind of results i got with this upsizing and hopefully this will help you to determine if gigapixel ai is the right software for you or if it's not and then also leave me comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. And uh, don't forget, Gigapixel is on sale right now. All that information's in the description below. And if you use my affiliate link and my promo code, David Kelly, you'll save an additional 15%, which is really cool. And that discount also applies to a license upgrade. If your Gigapixel license has expired, you can go ahead and renew that and save 15% with my uh, promo code. Hey, well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, as always, happy editing.